Hey everyone, it's me, it's Tori. I'm filming on two cameras. I'm mostly gonna look at the IG since these people are live, but hey to YouTube or the email list or whoever happens to be watching this. So today I'm sharing about the intersection of organization and self-care. Some of you might know me as Tidy Tour. Oh, I have to also say that just when I decide to film this and like go live, they're chopping down a tree. So sorry, I think it'll be fine. But some of you might know me as Tidy Tour. My YouTube channel used to be dedicated to all things organization, physical, um, you know, cleaning closets, planners, studying, and in my last few years, I've really been studying the art of internal organization, you know, managing feelings of anxiousness and stress with self-care practices. That's really what has carried me through. So I feel as though I'm a total organization expert. I'm a Capricorn sun, and I wanted to share five parallels that can be made between being successful with your external organization and also with internal organization. So if you have a friend that's wild about organization and having her stuff together, tag her or him because I'm that bitch too and we can all be friends. Um, feel free. Hey, Melly. So number one, if you're going to turn this video off, if you're going to leave the chat, that's cool. But let me at least say this because this is the number one commonality that will bring success to you if you want to maintain your organization. And that is to give a fuck. And that sounds kind of harsh, but truly it's about the commitment and it's about what you give your attention to, your energy to, and I'll break it down for you because I know, like, I know what it sounds like. So first I'll give you an external example because people seem to like understand tangibles a little bit more. Um, so if you're going to organize your closet, in order to maintain all of that work you've done, you need to give a fuck and you need to want to put put something hanging back up in your closet, you need to like not throw it in the back, you need to not have it on the floor. It's totally fine if you do that. I'm just saying if you want to maintain the organization, you have to care. It's about that commitment to caring. It's about even if you do throw it on the floor, turning around and being like, actually, I care and I want to put my intention towards this and then putting it on the hanger and hanging it up. That's like one simple example, right? Um, and, and you can always like turn back and do that. So it takes like, what, 15 to two minutes, 15 seconds to two minutes to actually execute that. So it's really like weighing those options and then deciding to care. So in terms of self-care, how this translates to self-care is that you have to care about dealing and looking at your emotions. If you want to have a clear organized mind, it's all about moving through the muddy feelings and the overwhelm um, in order to reach a point of clarity, right? So even if, um, like same thing, if you have a designated spot for something physical in your home, you want to have a designated spot for like fear and negative emotions that come up. Like, hi, I see you and I'm putting you here and I'm letting like my joy and my clarity come to the forefront. Number one, so number two, the next parallel for success would be to recognize that not one size fits all. There's a reason that there are different planner systems. There's a reason that there's a whole container store full of different totes and organization. Um, and just as in self-care, there are different ways to recharge and to reset. So the main thing is to not try and do it just like anyone else. Of course, you can try it out. Um, you can take take their advice. But if your closet is like this big and like has vertical shelves and the other person has like a whole room, your, your systems are going to be different. And so just recognizing that so that you're setting yourself up for that su success in the beginning, not comparing what works for you to what works for someone else. That one's plain and simple. So then the third parallel between being successful in organization and in internal organization in terms of self-care is to establish your strategy and your systems. And in order to do that, it really does take like a lump sum of effort up front. 
So this is like why you watch the YouTube videos and binge them. This is why you hire the professional organizer. This is why this is why um the maintenance can flow and it's easier in your everyday is because you put your intention and energy into creating something that works in the beginning. So like once in a while I'll get really crazy and tear everything out of my closet and like re-strategize how I want it to go and that takes some time and some hours and some long nights and then I have it how I want it and I can maintain that. The same thing is for self-care. It's like learning to schedule that in, learning what works for you ahead of time um, so that you don't need to live like more reactionary and need a whole week off to recover from life. It's all about putting your energy into knowing what's going to work for you and putting effort towards that and action towards that so that when the time comes, um, the maintenance is so much easier. Oh, I'm glad you're liking this, Millie. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about strategy and systems. I, I really wanted to hone in on the strategy part because that's something that a lot of, not a lot of us, but I noticed myself skipping, um, like within the last year, it, 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 the, the energy exchange was daunting to me, like to actually sit down and take some hours because with strategy, it doesn't feel like you're doing anything sometimes, right? You're not taking that action. You're not seeing results, but it really takes something well thought out and again, well strategized. I keep saying that to be able to execute planning is part of it. So if you're really good at, you know, planning in your planner and doing your external stuff, try applying that to your, to your, um, your self-care and planning that out. It's the same thing. Okay. So number four is consistency and like that's triggering for me. I don't know if it's triggering for you, but it's not what you think it is. So really here, I want you to focus on being consistent with your intention, which will lead to consistency in your action. So it's like when you pull all the stuff out of your closet, and you're going to clean it. Why are you doing that? It's about remembering your why. Because you want a more seamless life. You want a fresher look. You want things to be easier and better. That's why you're doing it. Um, so it's about remembering that when we're, we're back to part one and, and you need to give a fuck. When we're back to that part, it's about... Um, I lost my train of thought. Consistency. Oh, it's about remembering why, being consistent in your intention and saying, okay, I remember why this is important to me, so I'm going to care and I'm going to follow through. Um, so consistency really comes through when you find something that you like, like a system or with self-care, something that recharges you or refuels you, something that you like enough that you want to do repeatedly on a regular basis. And that consistency comes through with a good strategy, which is what we just talked about. So setting up that system that truly works for you. And I want to also mention that your strategy and your systems are editable. Hey, Katie. But if you haven't given your system a fair, consistent chance, like, you know, whether that's a week or a month, whatever that looks like for you, if you haven't, if you don't feel like you actually understand, then making all those edits is just busy work. Take that from a person who has bought like upwards of five, seven, ten planners in a year. It's not the planner sis. It's probably you. And it's it's about how you're responding to what you've set up. And you'll find that consistency when you find something that works for you. So don't be afraid to edit, but give give it a good chance, right? Okay, so the very last parallel between being successful in organization and in internal organization and your self-care is to take a moment, learn to pause, which was a challenge for me to learn. Um, and it, this is really about learning your triggers. So with the external world, it's much easier. If your house is a mess, you know that it's time to like get ready and clean up. Often um, when my house is a mess, I feel very anxious and that's like an internal trigger. Um, so kind of learning your signs of imbalance, whatever that looks like, and then taking a moment if you can, before it gets out of control, that's the best thing you can do. Um, but give yourself grace if it has gotten out of control. And you can you can do different strategies here, right? Like take a pause and set a timer. Just take two minutes. Um, 
if we're talking about external organization, taking some time to just tidy up to where you feel comfortable that you can like move on with your life. If we're talking internal organization, if you feel that overwhelm rising up in you, take a breath, take a couple breaths, slow your breathing down, do something you like, listen to a song, um, and really just begin to declutter because overwhelm it's a great example for tidiness. Overwhelm in your brain is is so telling of like overwhelm and anxiety and clutter around you, right? It's when things get just all jumbled up and they don't make sense. And that's why it's like, oh, the spatula is in the living room. Thank you, Rex. But that's like, it's, it's stressful because it's like not where it's supposed to be. Same thing with thoughts, right? Like everything just gets tangled up and oftentimes it's not as crazy as you're feeling it is and the weight of it is and all it takes is some time to declutter and like untangle your thoughts and just like get back to feeling good. So I'm going to recap the five parallels that I shared between organization and self-care which are to, number one, say it with me, give a fuck. I know, I love that one. It's my favorite. I should make a t-shirt. Um, care about the maintenance. And when you make that commitment to care, you'll be successful. Number two, not one size fits all. All of this is going to look different. You're going to use a different planner than your friend. You're going to have a different restorative process than your friend. Cool if it's the same, then you can do it together and be accountable. Um, number three, implement strat like take time to implement your strategy and your systems and just be okay with putting a little energy in ahead of time and at the forefront of the project number four consistency keep going keep trying edit if you need to and then lastly take a pause take a break and regroup so guess what i know that most of you have external organization down and you're color coded to the max and you're maintaining that but you might be finding that it's not as fulfilling as you expected it to be for me I was like searching for that planner that would make me feel good and it wasn't about that so it's really about taking your um internal organization to the next level in order to feel that fulfillment with your external organization and I've created a workshop rx for self-care that when you sign up you're making that commitment. You're doing step one. You're giving a fuck. And it, the workshop shares with you and guides you how to make your own unique practice. Like I said, not one size fits all. So um, it helps you with that strategy and the systems and the implementation. Some of us get really stuck on that, um, finding the time and getting off track when we aren't consistent with it. I just added in a timeline for you with emails that are weekly to keep you on track. It's, it's a self-study course, but I'm still here to support you because I understand that's important. And then um, it's there for you when you feel you need to take that pause and have that moment the videos are amazing. They're inspiring. They're joyful. The content's all broken down. There are bonuses on, um, there's a meditation bonus. There's one on masculine feminine energies, which I actually would love to like add a new layer to that, but we'll see. Um, so that's all available for you in my, in my, in the link in my bio. It's immediate download. It's a workshop teaching you self-care start to finish. I think it's going to really add this next level of organization to those of you who care about it so much in your external world, like try it on the inside. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to DM me. It's available to you now, and I think you're going to love it. And I can't wait to see who's called to sign up. Have a great day.